A divided government is all about deal-making, a skill Trump wrote a book about. Come January 2019, Nancy Pelosi will likely take her seat as Speaker of the House, something even Trump can get behind. I give her a great deal of credit for what she's done and what she's accomplished. Hopefully, we can all work together next year to continue delivering for the American people, including on economic growth, infrastructure, trade, lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Democrats will have to strike a balance between their base's desire for impeachment. They're talking about investigations and subpoenas, and he's talking about issues and substance, so it's quite a contrast. And their electoral mandate. Today is more than about Democrats and Republicans. It's about restoring the Constitution's checks and balances to the Trump administration. And the parties could actually find bipartisanship in infrastructure, prison reform, and drug prices. Trump signed two bills in October that would lower drug prices by increasing transparency. But some Democrats were skeptical. Chuck Schumer said it's hard to take the Trump administration and Republicans seriously about reducing health care costs just two weeks before the midterm elections. Pelosi has proposed setting up an independent agency that would fine companies for unjustifiable price increases. Another area where there could be bipartisan support is infrastructure. I had a conversation with President Trump about how we could work together. One of the issues that came up was part of our For the People agenda, building the infrastructure of America, and I hope uh, that we can achieve that. Trump proposed a $1.5 trillion infrastructure plan in February that Congress ignored because it would cut funding from existing programs. Another issue where they could find common ground is trade and the NAFTA renegotiation. The updated agreement, now called the U.S.-Mexico-Canada Agreement, makes Democrats happy about higher wages for Mexican workers and a boost for American manufacturing. Here's how Democrat Joe Manchin from West Virginia put it. Since I have been in the Senate, I have voted against every trade deal, and I applaud the president for taking these common sense steps. But Democrats will likely push back for stronger labor protections before signing off on the agreement. Collaborating on criminal justice reform is also a possibility. The House passed a bipartisan prison reform bill in May that offers vocational training to prisoners. Republican Doug Collins from Georgia and Democrat Hakeem Jeffries from New York authored the legislation. A divided government is not without the risk of a shutdown. Funding for the border wall will likely lead to a standoff. Republicans have already proposed several bills to finance the construction of Trump's wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. And when asked whether he'd allow the government to shut down, Trump had this to say. No, I, I can't duck. commit to that, but it's possible. All three branches of government are supposed to agree on the budget by the first Monday in February of each year. But that rarely happens on time, especially when Congress is divided. We will have accountability and we will strive for bipartisanship, with fairness on all sides. Now, can we get along? Maybe and there's a possibility. They want infrastructure. I want infrastructure. There's something that can bring us together. We have a lot of things where there is commonality.